What? What? Hold on. Alrighty, hello everybody, welcome to this video, thank you very much for clicking on it, I really appreciate it. Today, uh, my hair's not playing ball today, but you know what, it's fine. Um, hello, today. I have been on break for the past week and a half, I've been taking care of stuff behind the scenes, taking a break from uploading and posting content. Um, so I'm a little bit behind on some things, and I've got a whole long list of stuff that I want to catch up on. Um, Chief among them being the idol comeback. I'm so excited. I'm so ready for it. I've had to wait, but we're here. We're here and we're doing it and I'm super, super pumped. So we have two music videos to watch. We have the music video for Wife, uh, which was obviously a pre-release that came out. I can't remember exactly when it came out. When did it come out? The 21st. There we go. <laughs> um, and then we obviously have the title track, Super Lady, and the music video for that. Super excited for both. I have not been spoiled for either. I haven't seen any teasers. I haven't been spoiled for it. I'm going in completely blind. I have seen like some like screen grabs from the music videos. Um, I'm terrified. But in terms of the songs, I have no idea what we're getting into. But it is Idol, which means it's going to be a good time. Um, and I'm very, very intrigued to see what they're bringing for it. So let's get into it so obviously this has come with their second full album two um i will be checking out the rest of the album over on patreon uh as soon as i can um i'm hoping to get to it either today or tomorrow um at the time that you're seeing this anyway <laughs> um i started pre-filming some stuff so it's a little bit all over the place but you get it um <clears throat> Yeah, so that'll be up on Patreon soon. Uh, if it isn't there by the time that you're seeing this video, feel free to head on over there and check it out. Um, and yeah, I'm just really excited. I'm so ready. I'm so ready for this. Let's get into it. Starting off with Wife. This opening shot alone, I am terrified to hit play. The wig, the makeup, the face. Insane. Okay, all right. There's no captions on the video. I already checked. Let's just get into this. Let's see what's happening. Where's my volume at? Alright. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Get it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, me on being that cute with this filthy ass beat is so funny to me. I love me on so much, man. Like she's just she's just the cutest. What? What? Hold on. Okay. This is gonna be one of those songs that's gonna take me a hot minute to process. And like it's not gonna happen in this video. Like I'm gonna need to go away and listen to this song three or four times without the music video playing just so I can like it just figure out what the fuck my brain thinks of it because right now it's just like huh the beat is banging though okay hold on let me <laughs> Stop it, she's so cute! <laughs> mm. 
It's a do, 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 나의 two. 살짝 touch, 너는 blue, blue, blue. 아, 고속고속 게임 끝이 다 까나. 상식이 아닌 수배 손길을 안 닿아. 머리부터 발끝까지 그냥 chop, chop, chop. 배웠으면 이제 너도 한번 올라타봐. 으쌰, 으쌰, 이 바람. 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 으쌰, 으쌰, 이 Miss main vocal was just spitting like that. Hold on. It's still come through. Oh, the whisper. Okay, now I'm sorry. That's 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 my favorite part of the whole song. This whole verse right here. Show it to me on. Favorite part of the song. For sure, that banged. Love that. The low tone underneath as well. Did it! You better strut. Hey, hey, hey! That was so iconic. What the? Okay. Huh? All right. All right, listen, listen, listen. I know that when it comes to idol, there's a certain community of people that like to talk about um, weird lyrics, nonsense lyrics, cringy lyrics, blah, 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 blah. blah. Like it's, all, it's always all about like the lyrics and how weird they are and how it distracts them from the song and blah, 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 blah. And like, to an extent, I understand where those people are coming from. I do. Because when you're not, like, when you're not used to it, <laughs> um, it can throw you off. And, you know, you, you hear certain wording of certain lyrics and it's just like, and it, you know, it can, it can throw you out of the song for a second. So to an extent, I understand where these people are coming from. But on the flip side of that, Idol's music is so fun and a part of it being fun are the lyrics and the fact that they are at times a little goofy, a little weirdly worded, a little funky, like that is part of the fun of it. I love the fact that while through their songs, especially these last few comebacks, you know, they, they address and talk about um, various issues and just things that are important to them as women, <clears throat> um, women in society, women in the industry, so on and so forth. Um, you know, they, they talk about, you know, pretty serious things, but they frame it in a way that is kind of comedic or satirical or like quirky you know all of those sort of things they frame it in a very light-hearted kind of way for the most part and i think that honestly helps <laughs> um quite a lot because i feel like you know if you're going to tackle uh things that a lot of people don't want to talk about you got to frame it in a way that makes it more easily digestible. You know what I mean? Um, it's like dressing it up in, in like a funky, a funky little pill. Um, <laughs> and just be like, here, swallow it. 
And I love it. I love the fact that they're so unapologetic about it. I love the fact that they're so... Like, they don't take themselves or it too seriously. They're just like, listen, we're going to have fun. We're going to talk about these things that are important to us, but we're going to have fun with it. And if you want to have fun with us too, then like, come have some fun. Like, it's it's chill. But if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. Sure, you go do your thing. Um, And I think that's one of the things that I really, really love about Idol is that they're not a group that is, you know vying for the 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 perfect all kills on the charts that you know they're not a group that's like we want to appeal to the mass public to get those charting positions to break those records blah 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 blah. there's nothing wrong with that obviously like if that's the direction that a group is taking like you want to make that very radio friendly general public friendly kind of music you do your thing you do your thing, you eat it up, you kill it. But they're not a group that goes for that. They're a group that has their own little vision, their own little thing. And rather than reaching out and trying to like force that vision on other people, they're just kind of like opening the door and being like, hey, if you want to come have some fun with us, with our funky little beat and our kind of goofy little lyrics, um, but you know, talking about things that are important, come on in come on in and join the party but if you're not interested in that that's chill you do your thing and the fact that over the years they have grown and grown and grown and um garnered more and more and more of a following and all of this sort of stuff like gain their success through that without really having changed their their methods is very very cool Granted, in the last couple of years, there has been a little bit of a musical shift, but I feel like, I feel like that's only natural. Like if you, if you think about the fact that Soyon is the producer, um, it's only natural for a human being to go through different stages, different phases and want to try out new sounds and do new things. You know what I mean? But like overall as a group, they very much always stay true to themselves and stay true to what they want to do and the sounds they want to do um, at any given time and have just, yeah, had the door open to welcome people into their party. And I think that's incredible. That was so much fun. Like I said, I need to go and listen to that away from the music video to fully process it, but I absolutely, I had a great time. I really did. I had a great time that, like I said, that second verse there, definitely my favorite part of the song um but super catchy it's super fun super boppy the beat was banging that was a fun time okay all right let's get into super lit super lit hello thank you um i'm scared i'm very very scared <laughs> i don't know what i'm about to get into um do we have <gasps> we do we have lyrics for this one yay um damn yeah my brain's a little bit fried after that but that was that was a good time okay let's do this super lady music video three two one go oh that's a set Oh, I blacked out. So I opened her mouth and I blacked out. What the fuck? Where did that voice come from, first of all? Uh, second of all, this styling and this, this visualness is like throwing me back to a certain era in Western pop music and I cannot think of what era it is, but it's making me think of like, I don't know, just pop icons basically. Um, here for it. Third, what the fuck are they wearing? <laughs> oh my God. Okay. All right. Hold on. Bang, boom. Like this out. 
Love the guitar. Love the drums. That's a that's an outfit. Where does that voice come from? Maddie! Where does that voice come from? Zion! Like, I just noticed the tongue. Um, Like, I, I you know, we know Zion is, is a ridiculously talented woman. Like, this is a woman that can literally do anything. But I've never heard her do that with her voice. That was something else. Okay. Love the references to previous eras. Wow, wow, ladies. Oh, she's so super. Woo! Oh, this is giving second gen. Hold on. Maybe that's what it's giving me. Oh, wow! Oh, I got goosebumps. Okay. Oh, oh, my mouth is dry. <laughs> if you can hear dog barking in the background, I apologize. It's my neighbor's dog. They're going out for their walk. It happens every single morning. I'm sorry. We're going through that again. But first of all, I'm going to make a statement and I, I hope people um, do not freak out about it because I realize this is a bold statement, but I'm going to say it anyway. This is giving 2024 version of To Anyone's I Am The Best. It's giving, it's giving that. Um, you know, the, the braggadocious says the confidence, the, the power of it, the impact of it, but also even the color scheme and the, like, just the energy of the video itself is reminding me of that. There's little parts of the song as well where, not sonically, but in terms of the switch ups and the changes, were kind of reminding me of Sonia Shide's uh, I Got a Boy. Obviously, like I said, sonically very, very different, like in terms of the actual sounds used, but just in terms of the switch ups and the slight changes in the song, it was reminding me of that. This is throwing me back to the pillars the pillars of k-pop girl group dumb this this feels like an homage and also a statement of being like these are the icons from then we are the icons of now like I said, I know it's a bold statement, but I also think I'm correct, so I'm sticking with it. 
Oh, that just got me so hyped. I had goosebumps like four different times during that. Um, damn. Again. <laughs> Hold on, I'm obsessed with this. The guitar is so good. I have to say, the scale of the music video with all of these dances stunning incredible amazing i i hope and pray to god they get to do this song at end of year shows because can you imagine can you imagine the impact oh i'm getting chills again i got goosebumps oh i'm so excited right now is she meant to be like okay first of all look at these queens you will look so stunning i not gonna lie was very distracted by sewer in the first go round. i did not clock these absolute queens look at them all they look incredible um but also is she meant to be like a medusa kind of kind of vibe she's obviously got like the snake thing and all of the the braids is kind of, you know, reminiscent of. Love the zigzag part, you look stunning. But this whole outfit is incredible. Her voice and this like quick, like spoken, it's not, I wouldn't say necessarily rapping style, but you get what I mean. Sounds so good. Oh, that's Tom, this man. Oh! Look at the popper so cute. That is love of my life right there. This whole- what are you- ladies? <sighs> Neon's voice is so dramatic. And I mean that it as like the highest of compliments. Her voice- her vocals are just so like there's so much drama to the sound of them there's like a there's a power there's an impact there's like a theatricality to her voice and it oh it just it pierces me it pierces my soul every single time i love me so much i love her voice I love her face I love her ladies is it even an idol music video if there isn't something like just a little bit in it, you know? Like <laughs> at this point it is an integral part of their brand. Love oh I love what she does with her voice there. And then there's Oh this beat bang song you look so good you ate with this beat Oh 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 did that just go to a snake eye? Did, did Oh okay Never has counting to 3 been so attractive hold on Do set Yeah it's like a snake eye oh that's so cool Oh I muted it I didn't mean to Okay. Let's go, Oogie! There is literally, there are. Oh, this is giving uh, after school. Anyway, um, once again, a pillar, a pillar of K pop girl groupdom. Um, yeah, there, there are a few things that will hit me like a punch to the gut as hard as um, Soyeon when she does her fast, fast raps. When she goes quick fire like that, oh god, it's insane. Hold on, I need to look at these lyrics. I need to look at these lyrics while she's spitting. Uh. 
Oh, she looks so good. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. This was like one of the biggest goosebumps moments for me, and I don't even know why, but there's just something about that edit there and the change in outfit that just gave me shivers. Um, but also, there's some, some something that Uki does with her voice here that I am utterly obsessed with. Right there, where she says name, when she puts that extra bit of power and oomph into her voice, oh, Oh, it really gets me. It really, really gets me. And I feel like we don't get to hear it a huge amount. Um, because when it comes to like power vocals, we usually, uh, if anyone, we're going to hear Mion do it. Maybe many. Um, it's usually one of those two. We don't often hear like power vocals from Ugi in idol tracks. Um, but right here we get a little hint of it. Oh, it sounds good. It sounds real good. Ooh. Oh, you all look so... That is so... Ah! That's so iconic. And then the beat switch is unreal. Also, is it just me? Maybe I'm reading too much into this. These outfits are insane. Uh, but in the few times that I've actually, like, clocked lyrics... Obviously, in the beginning, they're referencing some of their previous releases. Like, we see the Queen card. We see, like, um, someone says, I never die. I think Minnie says love at one point. So, like, you know, previous albums. Um, previous releases. But it also feels like... I'm seeing words in lyrics that are songs from very prominent girl groups at the moment along with them like you know she just says fearless there the seraphim the she said baddie at one point and um i think during that that quick fire rap section um you know i've i don't know if that's intentional or not but i'm kind of here for it because they're not doing it like the way those lyrics are framed it is not like in a bad way at all it's more like hey we're all doing this together the girl groups are running shit at the moment you know it's it's that kind of energy and i love that if that is the intention behind that that's amazing if it's purely coincidental that's still iconic because damn <laughs> anyway oh my god Mion, my throat hurts right now <laughs> Oh, that was everything. The stadium set as well, like, by the way, is very, very cool. I'm so here for that. Wow. My throat hurts. <laughs> My throat hurts so bad. My mouth is dry again. Oh, God. Okay, all right. What else am I even meant to say after all of that? That First of all, I, I will say 3,000% worth the wait. You know, I've had to wait a few days to get to these. Longer than that for, for, for wife, but I've had to wait a bit. So worth it. So worth the wait. You know, sometimes I'll be super excited for a release, um, but I can't get to it right away. And I'm not going to lie, 
there's been a couple of times where like i've gotten to a release maybe in like a k-pop catch-up or whatever um that i you know hadn't been able to get to for ages and it just like just didn't hit the spot it didn't it didn't hit quite as much as i thought it would and i was like okay well <laughs> You know, it is what it is. I won't say the like, it wasn't worth the wait or anything like that, because I think that's too harsh, but you know what I mean. Um, this, this is worth the wait, regardless of how long you're waiting for it. That was so much fun and so fire. And I'm losing my voice, so I'm gonna cut this one here. But that was incredible. I'm, wow. Wow. I love Idol Man. They're just, they're just so fucking cool. <laughs> They're so cool. They're so much fun. Following them, being a fan of theirs, like, it's just, it's a fun time. And yeah, it's great. Anyway, I'm going to end this one here. I'm going to go and have a drink because, ooh, ooh, we've been through it. Um, Yeah, let me know your thoughts and feelings on everything. <clears throat> oh, boy. Um, like I said, I'll be checking out the rest of the album over on Patreon uh, very, very soon. So feel free to come on by if you want to see my thoughts on that. Um, there's a bunch of other idle content over there as well, if you're interested. And I'm sure that there will be more to come in the not-too-distant future, so stay tuned. Anywho, thank you very much for watching. I will end this one here, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. <coughs>